Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, September 13th, 2020. The tarot card for today is the Nine of Wands from the Light Sears Tarot by Chris Ann Donnelly. Great deck, you should be checking this one out. I want to go back to January, people. Actually, maybe even a little bit before when I recorded for the year 2020 my general tarot guidance for everyone which i did on patreon and i also discussed one particular thing that doesn't come around very often and it happened on january the 12th i know i talked about this a lot way back when well, let me tell you something. It's a significant moment in that Saturn, which was in Capricorn at the time, was conjunct Pluto, which is also in Capricorn. Okay, they were both direct at that moment. Now, this is a very transformative aspect. Okay, doesn't come around again. We see it twice and. 2053, once in 2054, and then not again until 2086. And to give you an idea, the last time it happened was November 7th, 1982. Okay, so we're talking about very difficult change. And when you think 2020, you think hardship and trying to overcome it. No one way back on January 1st thought that it would be anything like it's been, okay? And it has been a di very difficult year for everyone. However, at the beginning of the year, you had all of these hopes, all of this positivity, and all of this change that you wanted to make in your life. Then Saturn and Pluto come along, and the universe says, yes change is necessary you know, <laughs> the universe has a way of doing things that don't know you know would you ever notice when you put your own scenario together it's all happy happy joy joy things flow easily but then saturn says why should it be easy oh no i'd like to see you put in the work before i give out the rewards so along the way you get knocked down a couple of times right this aspect is all about persistence and determination, very much represented by the Nine of Wands, okay? Every time you get knocked down, you get back up again. Sometimes you feel a little weaker, sometimes you feel a little bit stronger, but at this point, I feel like this is such a crucial point, because I've been talking about September to my Patreon people for a long time. And I see so many of you determined to make that change, okay? It's not, obviously not, how you thought it would be. January 1, your plan for the year. Think about that and where you are now and the changes that are taking place in your life. You know, this is very much the Eye of the Tiger card. And I'm sure you have all heard that song made famous by the Rocky franchise. So you keep pushing through in order to make progress, in order to meet your goals, right? In order to make things happen, to make that change. What is, I can't think of anybody that I've spoken with, because a lot of people contact me. Things are going to be changing very soon. Uh, I keep telling people probably by month's end, you're kind of getting to that next part, okay, that's coming in. For many of you, it's a new job. For many of you, it's a new home. But it definitely represents a big change, a big move that's coming in. And this right here, today, this is showing me, this is showing me that you can do it. And lo and behold, we have an aspect which is building, happening tomorrow where the sun in Virgo will try and retrograde Pluto in Capricorn. 
you're getting a chance to make this right. And with this nine of wands and this aspect, okay, because you got to remember, you can feel them a couple days before they're stronger and more useful to you when they are building. And this is a card that is telling me, this is an aspect that is telling me that you can go the extra mile, right? You can push through it with that determination, with patience with yourself and make it happen whatever it takes whatever you have to know whatever you have to do but this is a card of standing up and meeting life's challenges head on all right it's like you're this fierce warrior i have absolute faith in you you might not see the results that you're looking for today okay because sometimes with that wand you gotta hold on to it okay to hold you up so you can still stand you know sometimes i i also bring up the the old elton john song i'm still standing okay how many times have you fall, fallen this year right the universe brings you to your knees you get back up you work on those changes and I'll tell you what, this time you are really going to make them happen. And I know my Patreon people know when that payoff is. When you're going to say, ha, ah, this is nice, look at what I have done. <laughs> okay, so you can be very, very proud of yourself. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.